Hi friends, myself Neha Gupta, your mentor for current affairs. So in this session, I have very interesting current affairs like the Champions of the Earth Award. So who is the person that has got this award? Uh, and apart from this, the world's largest renewable energy park is also going to be established. So these are some of the uh, news that we are going to discuss in this session. So let's begin this session without wasting any time. But the students who are coming for the first time, I would like them to subscribe to our channel and hit this bell notification. Guys, also you can join this Telegram group where we share free quizzes as well as uh, resolve your queries. So in case you have any query, then do not wait for any longer. You can join this group from the link given in description below. So here is our first question. Where will the world's largest renewable energy park be established? So from the question itself, the importance of this news is highlighted. So it is the world's largest renewable and a renewable energy park and from the five options given here you can yourself judge that this park is going to be established in India. So we have been given Kutch, Surat, Jaisalmer, Dhule and Sangli. These are the five cities and out of these what is the right answer? It is Kutch. So guys there is a place named Khabra in Kutch where this renewable energy park is going to be established. This uh, Khawada place is not very far away from the Indo-Pakistan border. Uh, and uh, at this place, remember the exact place as well, because this is the world's largest renewable energy park that is going to be built in India. Now, guys, related to this park, there are some of the facts that I want to share with you. So what are those facts? First fact is that this park is a hybrid renewable energy park. Now, what do we mean by hybrid renewable energy park? Hybrid renewable energy refers to the energy that is generated through a mix of sources like solar and uh, wind, hydro, uh, uh, renewable energy sources. And this park is, be, is going to be a hybrid of solar and wind energy. Now that we are saying that it is going to be the world's largest renewable energy park, so we should also know its capacity. How much electricity is it going to generate? So it is going to generate 30,000 megawatt of renewable energy, which is in line with the Indian government's target of achieving 450 gigawatts of electricity by the year 2030. So remember Indian government's target by 2022, we are aiming at 175 gigawatts and by 2030, our target is 450 gigawatts. Now here some students get confused because of the some news articles that say that Indian government is exu uh, exuding confidence that we are going to achieve 220 gigawatts of renewable energy target by the year 2022. But now I would like to clarify this thing that by the year 2022, the target is this and by 2030, the target is this. So these are the final targets that have been uh, explained or that have been expressed by Prime Minister Narendra Modi himself. So remember, these are the targets and in order to achieve this target, uh, this uh, world's largest renewable energy park has been established. The capacity of this park is 30,000 megawatts and remember the capacity because this can also be asked in the examination. Apart from this, there is a minor fact that this is spread over 72,600 hectares of land. So this is a very basic fact related to this world's largest renewable energy park. Apart from these facts, there is nothing much to be remembered from this news. But I have a question for you guys. Your question is related to Gujarat. So from Gujarat, I have two questions, CM and the governor of Gujarat. So these are the two questions that you have to answer in the comment section below. Which state has signed an MOU with Ola to set up the world's largest electric scooter manufacturing plant? So guys, again, the world's largest, we have again a superlative here. So this is the world's largest e-scooter factory manufacturing plant that is going to be set up by Ola in India. And in which state? So the answer is Tamil Nadu. Recently, Tamil Nadu has signed a total number of 18 
MOUs with different companies, including Ola. So the MOU which the state has signed with Ola is of major importance because the amount of investment that Ola has committed to the state is large. That is approximately 2400 crores. So this is the highest investment among these 18 com companies uh, that Ola has committed to Tamil Nadu. And this, the purpose of this investment is to build the world's largest e-scooter manufacturing plant in the state. Now, apart from this, you would also know this thing that Tamil Nadu's investment promotion agency is named as Guidance. So this is the name of the investment promotion agency. Do remember this thing. Now guys, related to Tamil Nadu, I have some questions to ask from you. And the questions are the wildlife centuries of Tamil Nadu. So the total number of wildlife centuries, which are whichever are there in the state that you have to mention in the comment section below. So in this manner, you can cover the static portion of the states as well. So do mention it in the comment section below. So we are on our third question, which of the following is the name of first stealth frigate built by GRSC under the project 17A of Indian Navy. So this GRSC is the defense manufacturing company uh, and this manufactures uh, ships, submarines for the Navy and Indian Coast Guard. And recently it has given the first, it has basically developed the first stealth frigate for the Indian Navy. And what is the name of that frigate? It is Himgiri. So under this project 17A, this GRSE is going to build the stealth frigates for Indian Army. And in 2015 only, the Ministry of Defense has signed an agreement with this GRSE company to build the three stealth frigates under the project 17a and this first frigate himgiri has been developed and it will be provided to the indian navy by the year 2023 the other two uh, frigates are in the construction stage and they will be provided by 2024 so and 2025 so we don't have much to remember from this news just remember that it is the first stealth frigate of the project 17a that has been built by grsc for the Indian Navy and uh, the name of that stealth frigate is Himgiri. Now what is this project 17A? Project 17A is the project for stealth frigates, for developing these stealth frigates. Now you would also know this fact that Indian government is laying so much emphasis on manufacturing the defense good indigenously. So this, this project is also a step towards that direction only. So that's all for this question. Which company has introduced go, hashtag got you covered campaign to appreciate frontline health workers? So this campaign, the purpose of this campaign is very easy. That is to create awareness among the people about the efforts of the healthcare workers and the frontline workers that are working hard to prevent the people from uh, getting affected from COVID-19 or basically that are the people who are working hard towards treating the people who have been affected with the COVID-19. So which company has launched this awareness campaign? Out of the five options, the right answer is Bharti XR Life Insurance. So guys, this is a very basic question. This is a very basic campaign, awareness campaign. Nothing is there to be uh, to be focused upon just remember the name of this campaign and the company that has launched this campaign and the purpose that is to create awareness to cre sensitize the people about the efforts of healthcare or frontline workers who has been appointed as the part-time chairman of kotak mahindra bank so this is a very basic question of an appointment Recently, RBI has reappointed the MD and CEO of the bank or basically the founder of the bank as the MD and CEO of the bank. So do you guys know who is the founder of this bank, Kotak Mahindra Bank? Now, I know that I'm a little deviating from the question, but this is also important from, for you guys to know. 
So the founder is Uday Kotak. And he has been reappointed as the MD and CEO of this bank again by the RBI. And his tenure is for three years, which will be starting from January 2021. Now, when this announcement was made by RBI, RBI has also uh, decided to appoint, reappoint the uh, part time chairman of this Kautak Mahindra Bank. So, who is that person? So, it is Prakash Apte. So he is the person who has been appointed as the part-time uh, chairman of this Kotak Mahindra Bank and these two are the very important appointments related to Kotak Mahindra Bank. Now the Kotak Mahindra Bank related static facts that you have to tell me are tagline and the headquarters of this bank. So do tell me in the comment section below. Next question is. Who has won the United Nations Environment Programs Young Champions of the Earth for 2020 from India? So this UNEP's Young Champions of the Earth Award has been given to a total number of seven individuals in the year 2020. And out of those seven people, one is an Indian. Who is that person? Out of the options, it is Vidyut Mohan. And why has he been selected for this award? The reason behind this is that he has developed, he has designed a machine that transforms the agricultural waste into charcoal. And it, the machine does not even emit the greenhouse gas. So this machine is really a good innovation done by Vidyut Mohan. And in order to honor his, uh, his innovation, this award has been given to him. So remember this thing that it is Vidyut Mohan that has got this award for the year 2020. Now guys, if you remember in the beginning of this question, I said that there are a total number of seven people that have got this award. So who are the six other people? Let's discuss that in the next slide. So here, this is the picture that I have got from the UNEP's website. And these are the people who have got the awards from different nations. Now, who is the most important person here is Vidyut Mohan. So remember this thing that he has got uh, this award and these are the award, other awardees. Who has won the UNEP's Champions of the Earth 2020 award in the category of Lifetime Achievement? First of all, here I would like to clarify this thing that Vidyut Mohan got the award in the uh, got the UNEP's Young Champions of the uh, Earth Award. Young word is there. And this is for the Champions of the Earth Award. So this does not have an age limit. And the people that have got, uh, basically six people have got this award in the year 2020. Now who has got the award uh, in the category of Lifetime Achievement? So it is Robert Goulard, who is a, and American. So he is from US and he has got this award. Champions of the Earth Award for his devotion towards protecting the environment. Now in this slide, I have mentioned different categories of the award and the winners of this award. So guys, remember this thing that this UNEP's uh, Champion of the Earth Award, uh, this uh, Earth Award is given in five categories. So these are the five categories and these are the six people who have got the award in 2020. So lifetime achievement, we have discussed Robert Bullard. Policy leadership award, uh, award has been given to Frank, this person, who is the Prime Minister of Fiji. So since he is the Prime Minister of Fiji, therefore a question might come up on the, him as well. So therefore you have to remember his category and the person and the name of the person, which is quite a task in itself. Inspiration and Action Award, this Yukoba Sabadogo from Burkina Faso. And then the second person is Namonte Nankyoma from Ecuador. Then Science and Innovation Award, Tabin, this person, Entrepreneurial uh, Vision Award, Mindy Luber. So these are the five categories and their winners of the UNEP's Champions of the Earth Award 2020. Now guys, this session ends here. I hope that you have really enjoyed this session. And if you have, then do not forget to hit the like on this video and 
do subscribe to our channel thank you so much for watching the video